Now we are in the discussion of scales topic. Under scales topic, we are going to solve a problem on plane scale, and this is the fourth solved problem we are discussing under plane scale. Now we will enter into the problem. The given problem is an area of 49 square centimeters on a map represents an area of 16 square meter on a field. Draw a scale long enough to measure 8 meters. Mark a distance of 6 meter and 9 decimeter on the scale. Now we will extract the data from the given problem. While extracting the data from the given problem, we need to answer for the following questions. The first question is representative fraction value. Second question is measurement to be shown on the scale. Third question is name of the scale to be constructed. Fourth question is maximum length which the scale can measure. Fifth question is length of the scale value in terms of centimeters. Here in the problem, representative fraction value is not given directly. We need to calculate the representative fraction value. Here the area on the map is given as 49 square centimeters and actual area is 16 square meters on a field. Now we are going to calculate the RF value. Here in the problem it is mentioned that area on the map is equal to 49 square centimeter and area of the actual field is equal to 16 square meter. But RF value is equal to length on the drawing by actual length. In order to calculate the length on the drawing, we'll take square root of 49 square centimeter and in order to take actual length, we'll take square root of 16 square meter. Then both numerator and denominator to be in the same units. Square root of 49 is equal to 7 and square root of 16 is equal to 4. Then 7 centimeter by 4 meters. As I said earlier, both numerator and denominator to be in the same units. So 7 centimeter by 4 meter. 7 centimeter by 4 into 100 centimeters. Then it becomes 7 by 400. The representative fraction value calculated as 7 by 400. Then the measurement to be shown on the scale is 6 meters and 9 decimeters. Here, 6 meters on the main scale, 9 decimeters on the subscale. That means we are going to construct plane scale. The plane scale gives the information about main scale and immediate subscale. So we are going to construct plane scale. Then the maximum measurement to be shown on the scale is 8 meters. Here, the RF value and maximum length value to be used for calculating the length of the scale value. Here, length of the scale value is to be calculated in terms of centimeters. Why we are going to calculate the length of the scale value in terms of centimeters? Because the ruler scale is in terms of centimeters. That's why we are going to calculate length of the scale value in terms of centimeters. So length of the scale is equal to RF into maximum length. RF value is 7 by 400 and maximum length value is 8 meters. Then 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Then length of the scale value is equal to 7 by 400 into 8 into 100. That is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. After simplifying this, we will get length of the scale value as 14 centimeters. With 14 centimeter as the length of the scale, we are going to construct plane scale. As you know, a plane scale is used to measure up to two consecutive units, a main unit and its immediate subunit. For example, a meter and decimeter. Here, one meter is equal to 10 decimeters. With this basic information, we are going to start the construction of plane scale. Now, we are going to construct the plane scale. Here, the length of the scale calculated as 14 centimeters. 
with 14 cm as length and 1 to 1.5 cm as width Drahavan Rectangle. Here, this length of the scale represents the maximum measurements to be shown on the scale as 8 meters. So, divide this 14 centimeters into 8 equal parts. Dividing 14 centimeters directly with scale into 8 equal parts is not possible. For that, we will use acute angle line method. Then number the main divisions. At the end of the first division, number it as 0 and then move rightward direction from 0. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then perpendiculars through 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Draw lines. Then, alternatively in the main divisions, draw horizontal bars in the middle of the main divisions. Here, this construction part is with 3H pencil, that is with 25% darkness whereas this rectangle and these main divisions and horizontal bars are with 100% darkness with H pencil. These main divisions are in terms of meters. We need to divide first main division into subdivisions. Here the first main division is to be divided into 10 equal parts that is 1 meter is to be divided into 10 equal parts. That means the subdivisions becomes decimeters. For dividing first main division into 10 equal parts, again we will use acute angle line method. Here, we had given the numbers for subdivisions in the first main division alternatively from 0 to leftward direction. Then, through these divisions, draw perpendiculars through the horizontal line. Here, 0 to rightward are the main divisions, 0 to leftward are the subdivisions. These main divisions are in terms of meters and subdivisions are in terms of decimeters. Then, we need to show the measurement on the scale. Here, we need to show 6 meters and 9 decimeters. 9 decimeters from the subscale 0 to left side and 6 meters from the main scale that is 6 meters from the main scale 
9 decimeters from the subscale. After showing the measurement on the scale, then write the main unit, say meter. below the right end of the scale and subunit say decimeter below the first main division and also RF value to be mentioned below the scale. Here RF value is equal to 7 by 400. Make a note here, 0 to right word are the main divisions, they are in terms of meter, 0 to left word are the subdivisions, they are in terms of decimeters, 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters. Here we need to write the main division say meter as well as subdivision say decimeter in capital letters. That's about the construction of plane scale for the given problem. If you have any queries related to the given problem, you can mention it under comment section. I would be happy to answer your queries as quickly as possible. For more videos on engineering graphics, visit the links provided under the description of this video.